Yo, what's going on, guys? Mike outside back in our video. Today we are playing Phantom Forces, and we're going to be checking out what's new in the update. And the first thing you can see on your screen is the Ripple case, which is like topography and sinus. Why they made a third one just for it, who knows? But they look cool for the most part, I guess. I got Dazzling Heights on my first case. That looks like a skin. I, I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> I, I changed colors, obviously, but it, it's there. Anyway, that's not the only thing with guns that they added, of course. You have the Type 20, which I already have a skin for as well. Good old Nippon Japanese goodness gun. Uh, rank 37 in luck. So, pretty easy to get. And then, before we get on to the secondaries, because they had bought like 50 of them, I swear. You go, you if you go down to the AKM, and you look at ammo, banana, 20,000 kills. <laughs> and it literally puts a banana in your magazine. And I guess if you have bullet casings on, it uh, pops out bananas. Like banana peels. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. But that's not the only only thing that they changed. Um, C7 is not the C71 with an updated model. The updated models are a bunch of guns. AKM, again, being one of them. AK74, I think, got a touch up in the coloring as well. I'm not taking off the skin, just to show you. Um, then. Let's get to the conversions for the primaries, and then we'll get to the secondaries, like I said. So here you have 410 conversion. If you don't know what 410 is, it's a fucking shotgun that can be shot out of your fucking auto. And the fire modes are semi, semi, and semi. <laughs> Thank you, Stylus. And they also, I guess, changed 458 SOCOM for it, and now it has a Make that would actually make sense for 458 SOCOM to be actually shot and used and everything. And I think this also got a slight color upgrade. I'm unsure about that. Again, skin, that's why. <laughs> and I think carry handle on it got updated, possibly. I'm not sure. Uh, then if you look at Sky H, they removed the long barrel glorious. But this gives me a chance to show you the Electra 5X. Which, here it is. Obviously. And then you ADS. It looks like a uh, loophole almost. But with lasers. And well, but that could also just be because, you know, I have red lasers on my gun. I don't know. Well, no, this also does give you an extra laser, so that's why there's seven and not just six. Like they normally would be. So yeah, there's that. But let's see if I can actually get a kill with this. I have not played much PO today. So. Cool. Hacker. You, you, you'd love to see it. Oh. So that was that, but they did add a second site, which is the EOTech M40, which is right here, and if it goes on the side of the gun, and uh, yeah, there's no alting, there's just this, nothing else. <clears throat> so yeah, Th this still isn't even close to everything. Obviously, they nerf shotguns into oblivion mostly not really actually funny haha <laughs> uh, AK-12VR now has the 7.62 conversion with the 50 round drum mag and the 12 by 12.7 12 by 55 conversion that's decided not to show up here there it goes <laughs> love, love when my uh, magazine doesn't just show up randomly 
first 17, I don't know if they changed anything. Oh yeah, they changed the recoil. Oh, they also updated uh, open, open ring. And 417 has better recoil light. Which they also changed recoil for sure that I know of on 357 SIG for Vector. Which I have a whole video of me using that you can check out after this. Link will be in the description. <clears throat> and then Henry has the big boy conversion now. Which is the 357 Magnum, which gives it this nice little sling. And technically is better than default. <laughs> oh, let me just like put regular muzzle brake and then put 357 back. Yeah, it's just better than default ammo. Somehow. And you get more rounds. I don't know. Interesting. Then carbine, I don't know. If, oh yeah, MC51 is now default, not suppressed. But of course, you can still put on the integral suppressor, and the gun changes accordingly, and kind of better with the suppressor still. <laughs> but then you have long barrel, which is suppressor, long barrel lullified. I guess would be the word for that. Then your extended extendo stock because H and K. 1858 carbine can no longer uh, fan, unfortunately. Uh, AK-105 also has new colors, but again, yeah. And then shotguns. All the shotguns were just nerfed, not given anything new in terms of conversions, except. Ya yeah, boys, uh, favorite KS-23. 4 gauge and a harpoon conversion have been added. Oh boy, are these both fun. In their own ways. Harpoon is still amazing. And um, if you use long barrel, it doesn't increase the length of the barrel at all. For where the harpoon is, for some reason. The game's just better like that, I suppose. Because, like, you, you, you put four gauge on. Long barrel, take it off, it stops there. Long barrel on, boom. But you put <laughs> harpoon and long barrel? It increases it, but then you take long barrel back off. It so yeah. Thank you, stylus. You're so cool. And again, this also has M40 because it's a decently good as a uh, sight. Pretty sure nothing else was added in terms of conversions. For 10, no, everything is still the same here. Just worsened <laughs> to not be as busted. E gun still shit, <laughs> put it bluntly. 20 round, I think, no longer gives it like choke. Or something like that. I forget what Toy Round used to do. But I think it was something with Choke. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, no longer affects Choke. Because that's why it used to be so bad and good at the same time. Spaz and DT are just there. And then we get over to the intervention, which was nerfed into the ground. <clears throat> R7, everything was just nerfed. Pretty much. 
BFG is still BFG, obviously. TRG has this new conversion, which is the TRG 22 kit and the TRG S kit. And Norma was changed, I think, and I think now this gets extended. No. And Invention gets the extended com extended mag. Yes. Extend the mag. Why you would use it, who knows. You're, you're a madman if you want to use it. All I'll say about it. Uh, let's see. Mosin and Obrez as well. Now have 410 boar. Because... Stylus loves the jokes. And I blame Mar for this. And then... It still has 8mm which just makes Mosin and Obrez better still. It really shouldn't be the game. Uh, let's see. K14 has no new conversions. Heck, it doesn't. FT shouldn't. M107 got nerfed. Both fire rate and that's how the gun works in general. It, the gun one one taps to like two, like 180 says now. To the torso. I could be wrong about that. Scout has 376 stare now, which is just better. CQC anyway. Wa is still bad. <laughs> and NTW. Now let's get back into new guns and look at all the secondaries in general. And then we'll finish with the main list. So first off, you have your original M1911, and you have your original Glock 17, which has a model update. I'll take the skin off because it's kind of ugly when I made it. So there, there's your new G17 model. And obviously, you can see right down here, slightly updated uh, in general, M1911. Stupid. Uh, so first you have the Glock 21, which shoots 45 ACP, kind of like a 1911. Why it's so much worse in terms of damage, I don't know. Probably because it gets a little more round, so there's a little more spamming that can be done, I would assume. And then G23, which shoots 40 Smith & Wesson, which all of these look really sick, by the way. Like... Whoever did the models did a really nice job. And it's like one of the few times I actually like some of the models that they did. I mean, to be fair, actually, M45A1 got a new model and I didn't even notice till just now. And uh, it's very uh, interesting, especially on the hand grip, or the grip here. That That's very interesting, and the muzzle device <laughs> is interesting. And then G40, which is in 10 millimeter auto, as you can see down in the right. <clears throat> then G50. Pretty sure, does this get the G switch? It does. So you can have it shoot auto, like the G1850 conversion used to, because that's why they did this, pretty much, is so they could have a G18. Standalone, without 50 conversion, and just make multiple new Glocks, because that makes more sense, actually. And then the G stock got a model update, and uh, yeah, KG99 is slightly different, like things now I. I think I think it does even more damage now by like one. And it doesn't have and I think next update, one of that drops in like five months. This will just be default and just be a default short barrel. Then you have the G one M one, which is now we're into the nineteen eleven clones. Slash new nineteen eleven 
19 ohms, which this one's in 50 GI, just as the Glock 50 is. Then you have Hardballer, which just looks so sick. Intel millimeter auto. Then you have GB, of course. Didn't mean to click that. <laughs> then you have the AM3, which again is another sick pistol. And 30 carbine, carbine, carbine. However you want to pronounce it, that's up to you. GSP, got, gonna look back at this for a second. Default comes with, I, I think they extended how big the magazine with the GSP C conversion with 32 Smith Weston is. So now it's actually more usable in spamming <laughs> compared to how it was. Then you have the Grizzly, which is just so sick looking. And 50 AE. So it's a Desert Eagle, but 1911 form, pretty much. Then you have the M2011, which is a competition 1911. And no, this is not a skin. This is default how it looks. Because competition, loud looking pistol. Then you have the AF 2011A1, which is a dual 1911. I think it's from Terminator. Don't correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's from Terminator. I think that's what I said when they had. Also, this is a 9x19 because competition I suppose then you have the G18C which got an updated model as well and uh, obviously no longer has 50 GI and again you can see the G stock and folded as well actually where are the stats? comparatively a lot less accurate with that. <laughs> Good to know. Then MP1911 has a stock by default, which is actually really cool, in my opinion. And you can remove it to have the old look of the back. But I also wouldn't use that, in my opinion. Uh, Tech 9, th this is how it looks. It's literally just the same thing as the other one, the KG-99. Executioner got nerfed to not be as insane. I know that much. I don't know what else was changed. Because you can still fanfire this, but you can't fanfire the 1858 carbine. And then you have the final one, which is the SA, the, the, the SAS 308, which shoots 308 Winchester. And, uh, I am going to spawn in and turn sound up so you can hear this properly. Just listen to this loud deafening gun. This is a sniper, but pistol. With and I got 75 damage off on it. PF moment. Anyway, before I kill my ears anymore, and your guys is too probably. That was the SAS. It does 75 to 70 damage. And when you reload this, the front post sight thing stays up unless they fix that in the recent bug fix. I hope they did. And then you also have 358 Winchester. Which changes nothing but makes the drop worse, I think. Uh, yeah, less muzzle velocity. <laughs> because bigger, slower round. Heavier, slower, bigger, slower, same thing. And it does get a short barrel. And it almost kind of looks like a uh, P08, I think is the name of the pistol. The, like, World War II pistol. I could be completely wrong. But it doesn't get longer, which is sad. And then, obviously, you can put... On. Can you put a fucking global fence on it? Okay, no, you can't. You can't curse it that much. God, 
but you can put like a you can put the M40 on it. Oh, I wonder if you take sharp arrow off and then put a sight. Does it remove that? Uh, yes. So then you just have an angry tube. <laughs> uh, then finally, you come to melees. Obviously, Pumali. I got very rare first night. And um, when you spawn, you have noise. It, it just plays music for you. And the music is kind of cute. And also the melee is kind of cute. And this is the inspect animation. It's just anti. <laughs> I actually I never seen the inspect animation till just now. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> and then um in one hand blades you have the entrencher, which is a trench shovel. So here's that. For some reason, right clicking makes it have electric noise and then normal shovel. And then uh yep. But that's fine. It it folds down onto itself for some reason. But oh, hold on, I I need it. What? <laughs> Alright. And then finally, you have two hand blade, I think it's under. Uh. Or is it one hand blade? Hurunting. It, it's a very sick, very good, that, as you can tell by stats, very good. Glowing melee. This is left clicking, this is right clicking. And then here to inspect. Oh, it looks boring. No, it doesn't. How are you able to hold the flames? I have no idea. Anyways, if you have enjoyed this video, Hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, or if you want to come out to the streams, again, notification bell and subscribe will help you get notified of all that. Anyways, this is Mike Dallas saying peace, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Adios.